today we're going to make pozole de puerco. All right, here are the basic ingredients that you're going to be needing. I already have my pot warming up outside. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to cook up the chilies in this pot. And we're going to get everything ready. All right, so we have some bay leaves. Hojas de laurel. Some New Mexico chilies. Guajillo chilies. Some oregano for flavoring. Salt, chicken seasoning or chicken bouillon. Uh, this is for the side. Lettuce for the side and a head of cabbage for the side as well. So we'll put these to the side. All right, so let's go ahead and add some water to cook our chilies. And we're just gonna add about half of the pot, uh, like a quarter of the pot. All right, then we'll stick it on here and we'll put it on a little bit medium. And we'll let it, the water heat up and we'll go ahead and pour in the chilies right now. All right, I went ahead and put all the chilies in there. I just cut them in half and took the heads off of them. There it is. Just let it soak in the water, let it cook. Add a little bit of salt just so it can help with heating up the process, and a little bit of garlic salt for flavor. When we're going to do that, it's going to make it smell better. But now we're going to mix our chilies. All right, we're actually, we're also gonna add a garlic clove to the chilies. So I can cook with the chilies, and give it a nicer, richer flavor. Chilies are almost done. Hi. <laughs> now we're gonna go outside and start it with the meat. All right, so there we are. Here we have our pot full of water it's heating up and here we have our pork mix for pozole comes with legs spinaca spinaco whatever it is is called the mexican words but it's a bunch of deliciousness so let's go ahead and add the meat to the water all right once you have the meat in there we're going to go ahead and let it boil and well once as we're doing that god damn i can't speak today we're going to go ahead and throw in a head of onion, two cloves of garlic, a little bit of oregano, just so it can season the flavor. We're going to add three spoonfuls of salt. You could add as much salt as you want. All right, here's one. And we'll do two more of those. Here's two. And here's three. Sweet. Now I'm also gonna add a little bit of Larry's garlic salt. I love this thing. I love the flavor it gets. So that's why I'm gonna put it. And I love the flavor this chicken bouillon gives. So I'm gonna add some chicken bouillon. And we're also going to add three of these. One, two, three. Mix up our witchcraft contraption. <laughs> bubble, bubble, boil and bubble. All right. 
we'll let that sit. You can see the steam coming out already, so it's almost at boiling point. And we'll go ahead and cap it and come back to it. Oh man, I knew I was forgetting something. Man, that's the main flavor. These hojas de laurel. Grab a few of them. Just like so. Throw that in there. I think it needs more. Perfect. I'm gonna let that boil. Real quick. Do, 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 do. Sweet. We'll come back to it. Alright, and these chilies are done. Perfect. We'll go ahead and turn it off now. We'll let them sit. And then we'll blend them. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and let them drain. All right, and we'll go ahead and blend these chilies. All right, if it wants to go in. All right, there it is. Solar mix. All right, and we'll go ahead and just drop it in there. This is what's going to give it the uh, color and flavor. Get all the chili out. Sweet. Now we'll let that come to a boil. All right, next step we're gonna do, we're gonna grind up some hominy. That way, this comes out nice and thick and not super watery. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump about half of it into here and blend it up. All right, so I'll go ahead and blend this up. Might need to add a little bit of water. Let's go ahead and add some water. All right, and there it goes. We want to blend everything down. All right, so there it is. And we'll just set this to the side. Now what we really have to wait for is our meat to be done. So we we'll go and check out our meat. All right, everything is starting to come together. Look at that, man. It smells delicious. I can smell the oregano, the bay leaves. Here's some of the meat. It's way down there. It's cooking though. It's cooking. Sweet. So we'll just let that cook. Ain't nothing else to do but to let it cook. Then we'll add the hominy. And it's ready to serve. Alright, everything is starting to boil now. Oh, it smells so delicious. So delicious it does. It's almost done. All right, everything's coming together now. So now we're gonna add our chopped hominy or blended hominy just to give it texture, nice and thick. Might need both hands to get the rest out. Ooh, that is super hot. Got me good. Huh, there it is. Sweet. All right. 
now it's time to add our hominy and my wife's actually on her way back from the store with another can of hominy so that's a blended half and one and then here is the second See our meat up on top already. Our patas. Some delicious patas. The pot was halfway, now is full. Almost to the top. <clears throat> so now we'll just let that finish cooking. Looks like all the meat is done. Everything's ready to be served. Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it, see how it tastes. And that could actually use a little bit of more salt, I think. I think I'm gonna put at least one. Might need both hands. Let's see. Two. And three. It tasted like a native, a lot more salt. We'll blend that together. Blend. I guess blend or mix together. Uh -huh. And we'll close it back up. And let it come to a boil. Should be ready to serve. And I think I heard my wife here, so I'm gonna go see if the other almonds here. House full of kids uh, fighting over a ball. There's the birthday boy. The kiddos. I'm famous. Yeah. We have a busy, busy house, huh, baby? Oh. Editing videos in the process. It's the life of a YouTuber, high there. Nice. The other hominy. I'm gonna go pour it in. All right, so here's our third can of hominy. Put this to the side once again. Pour the whole thing in there. I already drained the juice. Sweet. There it is. We just gotta let it come to a boil when it's ready to serve. Yeah, all the meat's done. God, it looks delicious. It smells delicious. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. It's gonna taste delicious. Let's see how it tastes now. I honestly think it still needs more fucking salt to be honest with you. But I'm gonna just leave it the way it is. People could add salt if they want. It's delicious. All right. Let's go ahead and check it out. I went and turned it off already. Everything is done. <laughs> Yummy. Doesn't it smell delicious, my son? What do you think? It smells good? I think it smells bomb. It's ready to eat. 
Let's eat. All right, so there it is. Here's all the ingredients you could add. There's the cabbage, onions, limes, tamatillo, and some relish. Now you just mix it all up. It's a red dish. Red dish, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mexican, I don't care. Get some chips. Oh, that's fire. I think it needs a little bit more salt. But other than that, it's hella good. Get some of that meat. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got love in my tummy. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. What was that? The meat is so good. The meat's good. What about everything else? Tastes good. Mhm. I'm glad you guys love it. Oh, there were Mexicans. Not like. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.